uh, we've got five of our top designs. This one is the, the one that Paige can tell you the story about a little later, but this was our top design that came out of our first round of our process, which is just that, that old town canoe, the canoe city. Right. Um, this is the one that was kind of improbable. We, we almost thought it was too simple. And then you guys loved it. And then we kind of recognized the greatness of this really simple design. And I think it was really hard for our city council and other people to imagine what it would, you know, what it would actually look like because we don't have a bunch of prototypes of it yet. So we tried to do some, some kind of simulations of what it could look like to just, you know, prove. Right. Uh, then moving on, we've got trying to, trying to put us up next to some of the best of the best. Yeah. To just say, hey, I mean, there's Chicago, there's DC. Look at us. And then look at our neighbors. They could use a little work. Yeah. We could join them and just throw a seal on a, you know, do one of your seal on the bed sheet, classic designs, or we could try to elevate our town and do something really pretty special. Then we've got this design, which it, again, this one seemed improbable, but it got some love from you guys. And geez, we got some Canoe City quilters that, that made a few of our designs. And this one just really turned out as a stunner. Right. Again, very similar to Israel, Chicago. But what, what are your feelings on that one, Ted? Um, I, I agree with the, with the cons. Mm -hmm. um, as a design, it's a great design. But um, in terms of the, the um, don't, don't look like other flags, it, it's, you're going to get a lot of people who say that looks like Israel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could change it by instead of having two blue stripes with white above them, you could make it a blue, white, blue um, tri bar. Um, and then that wouldn't look like Israel, but um, I, I think you 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 <laughs> you you give it to the next city over. Um, <laughs> yeah, Orno. It'd be great for Orno. Yeah, I, I like that idea. You, so we could steal the uh, the green, white, green, change it blue, and throw the star. It would be much right. Better. Exactly. Exactly. Then you could have sort of a theme going with your your flags. Pretty good. I, yeah, I have to like jump in here for a moment. Uh, the giving this to Orno uh, actually would not be awful if we could make that star into the maroon color of the the Orno High School, the school system. Damn. The blue is the University of Maine color. That's actually really not a bad idea at all. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Keep it simple. Yeah. I was trying to push this one as a unified. So our, our city shares an, we're on an island and half of our island is the, our neighboring town. I thought it would be a cool unifying flag for both of us. Uh huh. But who knows, who knows? Uh, this one, uh, it's uh, just the classic tree and, tree and canoe. And uh, I feel like it started off kind of boring, but seeing it flying, I, it kind of grew on some of us. And uh, I know Jeremy Hammond in Portland really liked it. You had some thoughts on this one. What were your thoughts on this one, Ted? I, I don't like it at all. I think it looks like a rebus. You know, tree, tree boat? Uh, <laughs> it, it looks like just it's a puzzle. And, it, and white's just a boring background for flags. Um, and that's about the most boring way you could put those two symbols on a flag. Um, so I, I don't like it at all, personally. You know, it would work. It, it looks like a kindergarten project. I'm sorry. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure whoever designed it is on this call. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This one was a, one of those accidental designs where we had a bunch of cutouts and we were just mixing and matching them. And then these ones got left behind and we just said, Oh, all right. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got another visitor. Who's this one? Is that our friend in Portland? Because you don't know. Hey, like Nathan from Portland. <laughs> we've got a visitor from Portland. He's he's part of the anchor flag. 
crew. Got it. Okay. So we'll we'll show you our last couple designs and kind of give you the update. And then if Nathan wants to share what's going on with his stuff too, I just we we connected on Twitter and I thought the more the merrier. So this one we're getting a strong no. We're getting a strong no from you on this one, Ted. That, that's my that's my personal view. This one is a, this one is kind of a remix on the last one. Yeah, and, and this looks more like a flag to me. You know, you remember I, I, my criticisms of the previous one, this does not look like a kindergarten project. This is, okay, you're doing something with the field of the flag. You're dividing it vertically uh, and you're using white and green. Um, you, you might consider swapping them too so the white's not on the on the um you know just look at what it what does it look like turned around um but uh, um but i don't think the tree overshadows the canoe okay the canoe is a big big thing and it, it's the only thing in its its side so um yeah th this is this is a, a big improvement over the previous one so again we've got that one and this one a little better, uh -huh. in your opinion. All right, and then we've got, this one, is a, this one is a remix trying to honor that people really liked this pirate looking flag. Yeah. So I, we've got an art teacher at our high school, Josh Curtis, he's a, he's a great guy. I've actually got it flying behind me, or not flying, but pinned to the wall behind me. Yeah. You've got two tools crossed. You've got the axe and you've got the PV. And the, the PV is that kind of uh Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm from Oregon. <laughs> well, the PV was invented, right? The, the actual PV was invented by a guy in Stillwater, Maine, which is a village of Old Town. So it's, it's, cool. got, it's got special significance. Uh-huh. So this was us trying to, I don't know, split the difference between going all in on pirate or all in on canoe. I don't know. What do you what do you think on this one? Because we I think it's I think it's a smart to avoid the pirate because the idea of something white crossed on a black background is just going to bring up Jolly Roger um, um, subliminally. And so by by abandoning the black, you do uh, you're you're fine. And this is this is I, I think this is similar to the to the previous one. Um, you know, with the with the axe and PV rather than the the tree, but this is more local. This is, this is, you know, the tree could be anywhere in Maine. It could be anywhere in New England. It could be in Oregon. Um, it is, you know, the, uh, on a previous Maine flag. So you've got that connection, but that's still Maine, not your town. So having something that's more local seems to feel better uh, on the flag. So um, I, I would, I would favor this over the, the previous two. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a B plus or an A minus. Um, the, the, the challenge is that first flag is just so good that this one pales, um, next to it. Mm.